Hi friends, I'm going to talk about confronting failures. Some of us fail to understand failures are stepping stones to success. Success is not the end of something. Success is a process. Every step that we take in a towards a direction, towards achieving success requires a complete investment of your time and energy. and you have to retrospect and introspect from time to time why failures keep occurring there won't be any kind of obstacles which could stay for a long time if you could invest some time to strategize your own uh, you know a way of doing things there are multiple ways of coming up with a solution one good uh, you know strategy that i would follow generally is to consult the experts in the field talk to your best friends about what has happened and ask them to get give you some solutions in fact i do ask a large number of strategists to come up with solutions sometimes i uh, you know become a buddha to uh, reflect on my own and ask what could be the best solution for a failure that i am facing it is so easy for people to come up with solutions for any failure that they face but remember i i i do uh, uh, you know uh, give a lot of pep talks for students who face failures in their examinations sometimes in their career people come and talk to me when they face some terrific failures in career i i would always tell them that there is a solution for every problem on the earth we have to see what works for us what would be the best step that we can take at this moment in time to face that failure or should we pause for some time and wait for a while and then get into action these are things that you have to decide on your own there have been uh, several occasions in life that i have to really wait for a while to achieve something great uh, i i i still remember when i first started publishing my a uh, collection of poems when i approached uh, more than 15 or 16 publishers with, uh, the, with my first collection of poems and nobody came forward to publish it except express publications the uh, publishing house uh, was headed by uh, gobakumar radhakrishnan the ceo of Gob- uh, you know express publications uh, desired to publish my first collection of poems called the soul sense that became a huge success and i decided to go ahead with the second and third book now remember i've published more than uh, you know 29 to 30 uh, publications the anthologies so more than 30 anthologies have my poems published all over the, all over the world so it's good that you should remember that any step that you take towards achieving success requires so much of constant practice investment of time perseverance perseverance is the mantra tantra entra to achieve success we should always strategize and ask ourselves what would be the plan a plan b plan c to achieve success for a particular challenge that we face no obstacle can remain forever nothing is a limit for you you'll have to identify the ways in which you can be innovative creative and you can always seek the support of your family or friends or experts or technologists in this regard i think that would change the way you think about the world i remember reading somewhere an american philosopher said if you want to increase your success double the rate of your failures you have to double your failures sometimes yes that would change the way you know you think about failures don't really be bogged down by the failures don't get frustrated by your failures ask yourself what is the best lesson that you have learned out of those failures and that would change the way you do things maybe you can write it down one by one what kind of steps could you take to enhance the kind of task that you're doing or is there anything else that you can do or can you watch a video about uh, about that particular topic or could you consult somebody who has done it better than you observe those people who are doing better than you in life or in career or in studies and see what sort of things that they keep doing maybe that would 
give you the best results possible i hope i have shared the best ideas for you for achieving success wish you all success good luck to you hi friends i'm going to talk about being a trend setter this is mangla prathabin talking about being a trend setter why should we aspire to become a trend setter a trend setter is highly innovative person somebody who tries to start something new or opts for some great change one has to adopt a change or accept a change or endorse a change or discover something new in the way we do things if we don't do something new then we don't become trend setters we make the world follow whatever we are, whatever we are going to uh, you know adopt or, or begin or initiate for the first time it could be in academic world or in the business world or in uh, you know in innovation or invention or or or, or in discovery but see some of us do not uh, opt to become trend setters even in fashion majority of us do not really become trend setters we opt to follow others we we choose to blindly imitate whatever is going on in the society we look at the major trend setters of the fashion or look at the fashion icons and some of us become fashion victims see we should not become fashion victims we should become trend setters we should opt to be trend setters how do we become trend setters again it's a passion for change we should love to change ourselves we should think about the possible changes that we can adopt in our life how do we do it we do it only if we observe what's happening in the world that means we have to analyze our environment our immediate circumstances and look at what is essential to be changed what is really significant for us to make a change that that is an important move you have to analyze this now understand where this change is required believe in me that only such people who identify the apt choice of making a change can succeed even in business majority of the businessmen are those who understand those changes quite ahead of others that is why they step ahead of others in achieving success if you are going to be a trend setter in life what you need to do ask yourself what sort of changes can you make in your personal life or in social life or even in your you know in your thinking process maybe for that you will have to read a lot of trend setters say for example those who uh, talk about steve jobs the founder of apple inc have to really understand that steve job was a great trend setter what kind of trend setter he was he identified a new market for his phone he identified that a lot of avenues for the smartphone industry in fact if you look at his life he was a trend setter even for the the uh, the very idea of phones for example in the computers uh, you you could see for, you know that he was a trend setter not just in packaging in delivery or in programming or rather even in design so when you look at the world innovation index those transitors would automatically qualify the organizations to be at the top 10 so i would say every organization needs transitors uh, even in academic world i would suggest every department in a university should think about having a few transitors so if we have transitors then that means they think differently they opt for divergent thinking rather than logical thinking or reasoning of course logical reasoning is essential but remember we we'll have to think out of box we we'll have to identify why we should be different or distinct or unique from others i would always recall the great poet hilda doolittle's words she says i have flowers of myself and my thoughts 
no god can take that be unique be a flower with a unique fragrance i wish all of you could be transcendent be the best that you can good luck to you Thank you.